Hey, this is Cameron with Exoid.com, and I'm here to show you how to use an iPod Touch as a primary means of the communications over VoIP using Skype. Um, a few of the problems I've run into trying to do this is, one, uh, if the iPod Touch has a microphone plugged in, it will usually uh, turn off the internal speaker so you can't hear your incoming phone calls on Skype so that's kind of a downside unless you're wearing your headphones all the time which isn't very practical um, the other problem I've run into is when you're using Skype on your iPhone uh, unless you have uh, Skype running a hundred percent of the time and you don't ever leave the Skype it will work but you want to be able to do other things on your iPod other than just leave Skype open you know if you want to listen to music control your music Skype will turn off if you try to do that normally. So let me show you how to get around both of those things. So I'll turn it on and show you show you the problem. So if I go into Skype here and I I plug in my handy little microphone here. You can see that if I I don't have headphones plugged into this. So if I want to use this as a primary means the second I go and call my the Skype phone, you can see that it's actually trying to ring, but I, the, the iPod Touch isn't ringing like a normal phone would. It's just sitting there. So if you're doing something else, you'd never hear it. So we'll stop that. So let me show you what you can do resolve this first issue of not being able to hear it ring. What you do is uh, when you're in Skype you go to your contacts and you'll see there's this echo sound test. Every time you start Skype for the first time what you'll want to do is call the the sound test and Skype has divided the speaker item so now it's enabled the internal speaker and what's cool about this is that even if you exit out of Skype you'll see that the sound is still working through the internal speaker even though Skype is closed so you can have your microphone plugged in and still hear sound outside of the um, the Skype application in any application so that's a way to get your microphone plugged in, working, and uh, still work with Skype. So um, you'll be able to see here, let's load Skype back up. Um, we can now call Skype again on a normal phone. and you can now hear it ringing on the touch whenever it rings. So that's kind of a workaround. Um, but the first time you boot up Skype, you'll have to make that test call and hit speaker, but if you do that the first time you boot your iPod Touch, it should stay that way for the, you know until you reboot it, so it should work for a long period of time. Um, so let's address the other problem. See, when I exit out of Skype, now Skype's closed. I cannot get back into Skype um, if well, if I'm off running my calculator or whatever, Skype calls will not ring anymore. So, in order to do this portion, you have to have a jailbroken iPod, which I do, and you'll want to install a program called Backgrounder. Um, Backgrounder is a great app. It lets you choose what what applications you want to allow to run in the background. So let me boot that up. I'm in Backgrounder now. I'll go to Application Specific and I'll go to always enabled. I want to always enable Skype. Okay. So now if I start up Skype, so now you can see that Skype is running in the background. So if I go ahead and shut off my phone and then call it again,
it will start ringing. So now you know your phone's ringing because you can hear it and you can go back into Skype and answer the call. So this gives you a way that you can always have Skype running in the background, always have your iPhone with you and use it as a normal cell phone as long as you have an internet connection. Um, what I'm also going to do is also get a small microphone that just plugs into the bottom here and basically this is an iPhone replacement and that will be kinda cool because uh, you know it's much thinner than the than the normal iPhone so um, I hope this little tutorial was useful to you um, to show you how to get using Skype as a VoIP phone and as long as you have an internet connection you should be able to use it you know as easily as a normal phone this is CamerathXO.com. Thanks a lot.